I'm author blogger Caroline Fairbanks Critchfield from SoCanShe.com. Today I'm sharing with you this free pattern from the website called the Peekaboo Pouch. This is a great little pouch. You use vinyl on the inside to make two pockets, a zippered pocket and an extra divided pocket here. It's great for a small uh, travel sewing kit or a first aid kit or to put makeup in to throw in your purse. You can make one to match your purse. It's really awesome. I love this little pouch. So you can download all the instructions and the pattern from the website. I've got the pattern piece here. It's just one pattern piece and you'll want to cut out an exterior and an interior. And you'll also want to cut out one piece of fusible fleece interfacing. You'll see here that I already fused my fusible fleece to the exterior. Then as a tip and to help myself when I sew around this edge to sew it perfectly symmetrical, you know those curves can be really tricky to get symmetrical. What I did is I took my pattern piece and you'll see here, I just cut off the seam allowance around the curved edge right here. I just cut it off and then I put the pattern piece on my the back of my exterior and I traced it. And by tracing the pattern piece here, now I have stitching lines. I've been stitching a long time, but it's still hard to get curves perfectly. So I have my stitching lines marked and this part right here is gonna be the opening where I don't stitch. So I left that unmarked. I also marked this, before you move on, you'll also want to put one half of your snap in. So if you wanna use hook and loop tape, that's fine too. You'll just sew a little piece on the right side, but on the wrong side, I've marked where my snap will go. I like to use plastic snaps, they're really easy. And this dot is centered and it is two and a half inches from the bottom edge. These are my snap pliers and the snap has four pieces. There's two pusher pieces, they're the same. And then I've got two different pieces that snap together. So right here, it doesn't matter which one, I'm, I'll use, I'll put these aside and I'll use these for right now. So the first thing I need to do is poke a hole with my awl. So I'll poke a hole. Then the pusher is gonna go on the back. I'll put that in. And I'll just put this right on top. And now with my handheld snap press, I will just make sure that the bottom of the snap fits in the little place where it fits and squeeze. It's really easy and it comes with instructions. So this snap half is set. We'll put the other snap half on at the very end. So this is ready to go, this exterior. I'm gonna set it aside. The next step is to make the interior pocket. So here I've got two pieces of vinyl, cut six by eight, a zipper, this is a nine inch zipper. I like my zippers a little bit longer so I can have more flexibility. And then I have a binding piece, which is a one and a half by eight inch strip of fabric that I pressed and folded by just tape style. Now, this vinyl I purchased on a roll and so it's new vinyl, but another great tip I like is to use recycled vinyl. Whenever you buy sheets or pillowcases or you buy a new curtain, it might come in a package like this. I actually found some great vinyl on a dog bed. And all you have to do is cut it apart. And on this piece, we could certainly have enough to make one or two pouches like this. And if it's a little bit wrinkly, well, you can iron it with a warm iron under a pressing cloth and it will be just fine. So there's a great chance to use up old vinyl. So these are my vinyl pieces, my zipper and my binding. And I'm going to use wash away double-sided tape. And I'm just gonna put one strip at the top of this vinyl piece. This stuff is super easy to use. You don't even need scissors. And then I'm gonna put one strip right here. And it's also repositionable. There we go. And then you just peel off the paper and I center my zipper right on top of it. Just like that. Easy peasy. And I'll do it with this side. Now you'll notice that my zipper is centered here 
and the stoppers for the zipper are way out here. And I did that on purpose. I used a longer zipper and I put the stoppers out here because I don't want to accidentally sew over them. I'm just gonna cut them off later. So also I'm gonna put my binding on so I can sew this all in one step. Now I don't wanna use pins on the vinyl, so I've got clips that I can use to clip my binding on. And now I'm all ready to sew this and to sew my zipper on. Before I get started, I'm going to switch to a non-stick presser foot. There we go. See how I kind of hold the vinyl up a little bit so that it won't stick to my sewing machine desk. First, I'm sewing the binding on. The binding is not, it's nice working with the vinyl because you can see the binding on both sides of the vinyl and you can just tuck it in there and get it straight. The vinyl is flexible, it's very forgiving, and it always looks great. So there my binding is sewn on. And next I'm going to sew on my zipper. Now, the zipper wants to move around. I'm not going to switch to a zipper foot. What I'm going to do is I'll just move my needle to the left here so that it's right on the edge of the zipper tape. There we go. And again, I kind of hold the vinyl a little bit so it won't stick to the sewing machine bed. This is the easiest zipper you'll ever put in. There's one side. There's the other side. Now, before I cut off the ends of the zipper, I like to just sew a little stitch, a few stitches over the end here so that I don't lose my zipper pull. So I'm just going to, it's right within the seam allowance, within my half inch seam allowance, so I'm gonna sew and I'm going to sew backwards and forwards a few times. Make sure your zipper pull is here in the middle of the pouch and not off the edge. Okay. So then you just want to cut off the ends of your zipper and trim all your threads and your pocket piece is done. Really quick, then you'll want to layer your exterior, your pocket, or your interior, this is the lining, the interior, your pocket, and you can press this too to make it nice and flat, just don't touch your iron to the vinyl. And you'll lay this piece on top. You'll want to use clips and not pins and clip all the way around and leave an opening right here. So I have one here already done where I've stitched all the way around. I left my opening right here. You'll want to clip the corners, cut the corners off so they'll turn nicely and cut notches here. And one other quick tip I like to do is I like to turn back my opening and press it so that you can so that will turn nicely. So once you have this ready to turn, you turn it right side out. Make sure you turn it with the vinyl pockets on the interior and you're almost done. Then you'll just need to sew a dividing line right here 
to divide your zipper pocket. If you like, you can sew a dividing line here in this pocket to make separated pockets, and you'll want to close the opening. Let me show you on the finished one. Here are the stitch lines that I mentioned. And the final step is to add the snap. You'll close it up to see where it goes. Make sure that you sew the opening closed either by hand or by machine. And then your peekaboo pouch is finished.